<laughs> Welcome to the basement. I'm oh, Lynn oh. from Ellen J. Goods. We go live on Wednesdays at 1.30 Eastern Standard Time, right here from the basement of our shop. Joining us today, we have Megan, who is going to be answering your comments. And we have JR lurking around in the background. Making snarky and, comments. <laughs> yeah, right? But uh, welcome. We are on a mission to clear out our basement of furniture projects. We are specifically working on furniture projects for 2023. So we're going to go live every Wednesday. We started this project a week ago. If you did not catch us before, you saw we had this golden upholstered chair that I actually started painting with fusion mineral paint. Well, let me show you how I am now taking a little bit of a different journey with this chair. After uh, thinking it through, you know, we are going to decoupage the seat of my chair. Last week, I talked about how um, I would be opposed to upholstering. Um, on the seat of a chair or on the back where it gets a lot of wear. And then after some thought, I was thinking that there are a few different kinds of decoupage papers. We have tissue paper. We have, you know, just rigid, regular copy paper that we use. But we also have rice paper. And rice paper, as you know, is fibrous and has some flexibility to it. So I thought, after consulting with my friend Melanie, the painted bench Hamilton, we chatted about it for a bit and she said, I would try it. I don't think you've got anything to lose because it is a fibrous paper. I think that it, let's get this started. Now what I did is um, I actually painted a second coat on the back of my chair and on the sides. And as you'll recall from last week, you want to make sure that you press right down in seams that join. And like here in the welting, as this dries, I come in and I, I pull it apart so that I can make sure that that's not going to be stuck stuck. But you definitely want to get inside those welts with your second coat as well so that um, when this spreads apart with any pressure, you're not gonna see the original upholstery color. Finished sanding the finish off of my wood parts and I taped off my other wood section here to protect it while I was painting. Um, if we have time, I'll go ahead and show you a second coat on the back, but today we're really gonna concentrate on the seat. What I've done to prepare for this, and if you recall, I had to patch my chair, right? So I had a patch on here, which isn't gonna look right when it's painted. So I had to think of some way to disguise that. And I didn't really wanna put a stencil on it. I didn't wanna put stripes because channels, the channel back. I didn't wanna do stripes because it would look weird. I really didn't want to do my grain sack stencil because I thought it would just look too, it would just be a little too stencily. So what I decided is I thought that this would be a beautiful oh my gosh. option wow. for the base of this chair. The colors work perfectly. And this is our, and this is an A2 size. I love, this is one of my favorite decoupage. And um, if you, if you really wanted to actually do upholstery, we do have our grain sack stencils. Yes. We have a beautiful new collection of them up as well. It's just cool that there's a lot of different ways to get that look without right. having an actual German grain sack to uh, upholster with. Exactly. So here's, here's what I have to think about. First of all, like I said, I base coated this white and I did once this is wet, it becomes a little more opaque, and and I really want this to be a nice bright um, image on here. I don't. If I were to put this 
wet over a dark background, it would really dull it down. Now, you could do that. It would just depend on the look that you want. you got plenty here where you could practice on a piece of other fabric just to see what kind of a look you want. So again, I've never done this before. <laughs> and uh, again, why don't I make the mistake so you don't have to? The first thing I want to do is I want to size up my paper and I want to give myself plenty of play because I want to tuck this down in. And then I want to make sure I have enough to go around the front here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to tear off this bottom edge. I will use this for something else. So I've got plenty to kind of wrap around and tuck in on either side. I'm gonna, I'm gonna admit to you right now, I'm nervous about this. What's making you nervous? I don't wanna mess it up. So what would be the worst thing that could happen? I would mess it up. And I know, just but have to repaint over it, which is fine. And that's, and that's what we have to do. So that's how it is going to lay out. I'm going to trim off my corners here just to make it so I don't have so much bulk. <laughs> that's funny. Okay. Oh, is it nice, Mom? Yeah. You'd prefer to work alone? Sometimes I do. I don't mind a day alone. Mm. <laughs> Today I picked up, this is Fusion Decoupage and Transfer Gel. So I'm going to use this and I have my package covering, the package to the rice paper handy mm -hmm. and I have a brayer handy uh, and we're going to play this by ear. Let's see what happens. What I want to do is I want to press down, see how I'm pressing this down? If I get any of this on the paint, I can easily wipe it off. But let's, um, let's get this now. Gently press the decoupage paper into the medium and carefully tuck it under the back cushion. And that first step is done. So I'm gonna take my clear paper here and use that to make sure that that's pressed into place. Put the medium down maybe the first like three inches or so. And I don't want to over manipulate this because it could lead to a lot of tearing. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring this back. So I'm kind of scooting this up underneath my paper. And I'm only doing like just a couple of inches at a time. Continue to apply decoupage medium for two or three inches at a time and press the decoupage paper into place. As I reach the curved edges, I'll trim to fit as needed. I have any areas that are not uh, adhering, I can always like soak my, my medium down into the rice paper and it should adhere. All right, I need to make a little bit of a pleat here because um, I can't stretch this into shape. So we're gonna try to kind of create a little pleat. I don't think it's gonna be that noticeable. I could also cut that. Maybe I'll do that. I 
They really do have some give. Like, we sell these, so it's not oh, yeah, other people buying that full price. You don't want to mess it up, but it's looking pretty stinking good. Thank you, Megan. I appreciate that. I am nervous as a cat here. Wow. We are working our way around the front. But she says, nervous as a cat in a room full of rocking chairs. <laughs> That's awesome. But you know what? That's why I do something like this on a piece that literally I, I paid nothing for. Here I'm finishing the rest of the decoupage around the front of the cushion to wrap it completely underneath. Taking it slow. Here. I do think the bravest thing about it is that you chose something with a line down the middle. Really? I Honestly, know. because anything else would be so much more forgiving. You're right. Yeah. So I'm going to cut this a little right there to work that down. So what we're going to do um, now, Megan and I won't be here. Um, next week to do Basement Chronicles. So we're going to come back to this in two weeks. And that is really good because I think it's going to then just give everything an opportunity to dry. You have to cut at all along the sides when you were gluing them down. The only thing that, where? Along these right here? No, I... I just trimmed and left about this much play to go down into the seam. Or down into the, the cushion where the cushion joins. And again, when it when it dries completely, this will be sealed in place and it's not gonna tear. Like right there, I fussed with it too much. Mm -hmm. So I have a little bit of an issue right there. But the thing with the rice paper is it gets a little like goopy. So I can move it around. It looks really good. Like so good, Mom. Thank you. Um, Kathy said, so will JR be doing next week's Basement Chronicles? Uh, no, but we have <laughs> talked to him about once do a, a month segment, doing yes. a little segment with but us. But there is no way in the world mom would ever let JR be on camera without her here supervising. <laughs> no way. So I'm going to really gently putting a little coating of this over the top. But boy, you don't want to, you don't want to apply much pressure and move this paper around much. Patty says that paper really is a perfect match with the paint. It's so good, isn't it? Whew, all right, well, we got it on there, and it's time to <laughs> and let And that's all she can handle. Next week, we'll be back in the basement to finish this chair project. I will be applying the final finishes and some trim around the upholstered edges. Go ahead and hit that notification bell so that you see how we finish off this chair project next week and continue to work on other interesting furniture projects in the basement.